you know, it's definitely something that, you know, you have in the back of your mind that you can work hard for. So, uh, you know, uh, obviously, I think most importantly is the team success. And then, uh, you know, it'd be a, a really great bonus if I get to be a part of that Olympic Olympic team. Who'd you line up with most of the time? Uh, in the practices, I was with uh, Le Cavier and Carter. Yeah. But uh, in, the, in the game, I was with uh, McDonald, Andy McDonald and uh, Danny Clare. Did you even give it thought before you got the call that you might be playing on this team in, in your hometown? Uh, you know, some people uh, talked to me before and said, you know, you have a chance of being uh, invited, you know, and all that type of stuff. So, you know, it was it was in the back of my mind, but, uh, you know, I didn't get my hopes up too much, you know, thinking, you know, anything can happen. So uh, it was great that it happened, and we'll see, uh, hopefully the start of the season goes well and I can be a part of that team. Did you leave there with a different appreciation for you anything any differently this off guy or two's particular skills? It's, it's one thing to play against guys, yeah. and one thing to see him for a week and be right next to him. Uh, well, there was, you know, we were split up in two groups, so I didn't really get to see everyone. But uh, you know, I, I think it was exactly what I expected. All the guys were as good as I, you know, expected. So uh, it was. Uh, it was a great experience to see how they all work in practice and how they all uh, use their skills and all that type of stuff. So. You, you room with uh, Ryan Smith? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. What would you learn from him? I mean, everyone talks about his leadership and you know, Captain Can and all that. I mean, you come away with anything from being with him and getting to know? Oh, uh, you know, I asked him if you picked his brain a bit and all that type of stuff. So, uh, you know, just just about how it is, you know, when you're a part of the Olympic team and the different experiences that he had in 06 compared to 02. Obviously, being successful in 02 and winning a little gold medal to a sixth place finish mm -hmm. in um, in Torino. So, you know, he was talking about you know how it could be, you know, the best two weeks of your hockey one, one of the best two weeks of your hockey career. It could be one of the worst two two weeks of your hockey career. So, uh, you know, it's a fast tournament. There's you know there's 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 no time for excuses. There's no time for you know. Adjustments and waiting to perform is something that you you have to do right off the bat. And he says, uh, you know, it's kind of kind of the same. You know, obviously it's a whole nother level, but it's kind of on the same thing as a Memorial Cup or like a you know like a, fun, a, fro a Frozen Four, where uh -huh. you know it's something that you know it, it's it's one game and you you have to bring your best every game, and that's the way you got to approach everything. When you went home this summer, did you start to see all the preparations around town to host yeah. host the games? Yeah, everything being built and all that type of stuff. So. It's uh, it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be a great event. As a as a resident, it must excite you. As someone who grew up there, it's gotta. Yeah, it's great. I mean, uh, they got their sky train system. Is they expanded it and all that type of stuff. And their uh, the Olympic oval was done for the speed skating, and I I went there and checked that out. It was a real nice facility, and uh, I know there's a lot of well, they already have pretty much all the skiing stuff up in Whistler, but uh, other than that, you know, they're just built from building all the. Uh, Olympic villages and all that type of stuff. It looks like it's uh, going to turn out great. You're no stranger to the hometown pressure. I mean, the month here you guys won the Memorial Cup. Vancouver was the host city. So, I mean, this is something that you've kind of experienced before. Now. Yeah, but, uh, you know, this would be a whole new level. I mean, you know, junior hockey compared to Olympic hockey is two different levels. But, uh, you know, I think uh, you gotta you got to use the crowd to your advantage. And, you know, they, you know, you got to get in, get them into the game early. And, uh I think that's the biggest thing is just um, making the most of the opportunity that you get, and uh, you know it's not every day that Canada gets the Olympics. So uh, you know, especially for hockey, where it's the biggest biggest event that everyone's going to be paying attention to in Canada. So you know, it's going to be uh, it's definitely going to be exciting, but you know, there's definitely going to be a lot of pressure on Team Canada to win. But then again, uh, you know, they got to try to use that. Pressure to uh, pressure from the fans and the excitement from the fans to their to their advantage. Did you keep your roomie up so uh, He actually was worse than me. It was actually uh, I think I got a I think I got a bit of taste of my own medicine because he uh, he kind of kept me up all night selling logs. Mark Recky, he's a he's an Olympian. So have you talked to him at all about his experiences? In he was in Nagano, right? Yes. Was he? Yeah. yeah. Uh, actually, no, I haven't. I haven't talked to him yet about it, but uh, I'll ask him a few questions if when I find out if I'm on it or not. Yeah. There's only.